Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Mantic and we're here to bring you our next installment in the Twilight Kin Design Diaries and this time we're going to take a look at the Void Skiffs. So we had a great place to start with the ships that we have already in Armada, but this was going to be, you know, a, a you know, just a few manned vessel and wanted to be able to make sure it scaled down appropriately for Kings of War. And the best unit type that it made sense for was a chariot. And with a chariot base, you know, you can essentially use multi-basing and kind of some clever and creative ways to put the models together uh, to allow for, you know, a, a nice chariot unit and then it would work perfectly for things like, you know, mounts as a hero option. We went through a number of different designs for it and, you know, the way the process works is that the concept artist, you know, kind of throws a whole bunch of ideas out. You take a look at the, the variety of things that are available for the unit and you try to see, you know, can we tie this into what we did with the Impalers? Are there certain elements that can match and make sure that it's all consistent throughout the entire range? And, you know, we knew that the corruption would need to be there. Uh, we wanted to tie in the fact that they would probably be helmed by, you know, female Corsairs that would, you know, be less corrupted. But at the same time, these guys are constantly ferrying things back and forth so that they would have some elements of corruption to them because they've just been exposed to it for that long. You know, a chariot is a very ground-based thing. You know, there's wheels, there's typically, you know, creatures that are pulling it uh, to, to drive it forward. And with these, the, they're, you know, they're ships. They're ships that are floating along. And, and what, what a great representation of something that's in fantasy space. You know, you have a, a classic looking ship skiff that would be floating across the battlefield and we knew that we wanted to have a solid support structure for it so you know you toss around the ideas like a, a clear plastic flying base stand but you know we really wanted to embrace the the ability to, to sculpt something and put a structure underneath of it that would represent that it was you know floating across the surface and so i remember working with luigi and, and he cranked this out in like an hour and it was just it was the perfect kind of representation of the magical energy sort of just rolling underneath of it and i thought what a great opportunity for painters and hobbyists to put some glow effects from underneath and some osl even you know implementing uh led lights to have some kind of a glow effect underneath of it and it was just such a great opportunity to do it and that's the the reason that we decided to go with that sort of flow. From a gameplay standpoint, you know, we, we thought about ways that could make it interesting. And one of the earliest ideas that ended up sticking was the fact that they, they would have a ranged option that you could purchase for the unit, uh, but they would be slightly different. So it's a ship and with the narrow nature of it, wouldn't it be cool if we could figure out a way for them to fire off like broadside fire, you know, actually using the side arcs instead of the front arcs to make the range attacks from. So it was kind of a, a creative endeavor that, you know, pushed towards the actual rules. And we wanted to represent it on the model with a nice embedded bolt thrower that would go into the side and, and just make kind of an interesting hidden tactic that you wouldn't exactly expect. And, you know, that's something the Twilight Ken are all about, coming out of nowhere and surprising you. So with the Impalers and the Skiffs knocked out, we were in a really good place and sort of felt like we had a great direction to go with the Twilight Kin. But we knew we had to get the core of the list down and that's what we'll be taking a look next, which is gonna be our basic infantry, which are the Corsairs and the Void Touched. Stay tuned next time, guys. There's a lot more coming.